Oh, this is tempting. God, this is going to be cancer. Just like that. I was setting it up the whole time. And it worked. Our friendly neighborhood gankers. <laughs> All right. combo he survived it Good shit, teammate. Came in right in time, dude. <laughs> that was great. Dude, if we... We did not have the Roar Medallion for this, guys. We lost about, like... Probably around, like, 150... 200 damage. Which would have killed the host with the Roar on Wake Up, but... Because we swapped the eel, unfortunately, we didn't get it, but... Still, that was a nice invasion. Those 2v2s are easy. Well, it can go either way, really. But it's it's definitely more fun. Although I, I will say that I would probably prefer if it was like 3v2, even 4v2. I was a huge fan of 4v2 in Dark Souls 3. Like 4v2 was like peak. Both challenge, but like a bit like more fair. Like 1v3 is just it's a bit overkill because there's no no way you can separate people. Like you need to have two people to separate the separate the other guys. Like, basically, a 4v2 is, in the worst-case scenario, two 2v1s, right? So, already, like, it's it's already easier than a 3v1. So, that's why it's way more balanced, even if you have to deal with four people. Let's do this. Okay, they have a Colossal, though. Did someone die already? The host just died. Seriously? How did he die, dude? Did I ever tell you guys about, like, when I help uh, PvEers beat bosses? I did that a few times. Like, I would carry, like, some PvEers through bosses. That was back when, like, I was kind of bored of Elden Ring. Like, I would do a lot of, like, co-op fight just to help people beat, like, Moog or Millennia or stuff like that. Just for fun. And, or the fire giant actually as well and I actually like uh, doing co-op and dude I swear like there was two people two times I had to carry someone that basically had like 600 HP and or like 400 something stupid like that and basically they would get one shot so 
and they would resummon me though every time so like i would try to beat the boss as fast as i could then they would die you know get like whatever like two quarter or one quarter like half 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 down but it didn't matter like how hard i tried so eventually i decided to start using uh uplifting aromatics and using uplifting aromatic i was basically like trying to hit the boss then few uplifting aromatic on the host uh, or like one at a time and then keep repeating that every time and basically my goal was to keep the host alive like the entire way through this is annoying guys oh, just out of it no berry mm, maybe that's not a good idea to keep that here then could uh, get us to do some mistakes. I know we can kill this guy, we just need like one opportunity. Come on, just attack. Get in me and attack. He doesn't want it. Does that reach? No, it doesn't. Just need to hit him again, like one more time, but let's uh It's just annoying. <laughs> I hate fighting in the open like that. Now we need to back up to like some rocks to heal. I'm trying to set it up, but like they only want to attack when it's convenient. Let's um They give up? No. Insane tracking. Dude, I cannot see shit. Come 
on. didn't see it. Oh, you missed. That's it. We could have killed the Phantom if we had uh, the Roar Medallion, but I forgot to switch it back. Because I was planning on using more Fireballs. God, are we going to have insane spawns like that like three times? This is just amazing. Yeah, at least... Oh, there's three of them. Oof, three of them. survived oh. Pulse is prime for glory. It's one. Big brain. <laughs> oh man, that is so funny, dude. <laughs> dude, I forgot like how stupid like dragon invasions were. It's so it's so effective. Like it's so much less effort to kill a lot of those gang squads. It's like it's not like our opponent are like crazy good or anything, but it's still more difficult to kill players like that if you have to fight them melee. Because you have to commit a lot more. Oh, the phantom left. I rolled that way too early.
Oh, he's laggy. Thank you. Insane. I think he was still invincible. He does a lot on True My Ender. Insane. Oh! Does he know what he's doing? No, he doesn't. I was trying to, like, think of a way to, like, set him up for a Grey Oral, but he was too aggressive. It would have been, like, uh, too dangerous. It was probably just better to kill him with fists. Nice lag. Look at this phantom, like, skipping. Scary stuff, man. Oh, uh, what the fuck? Ah, he fell off! <laughs> he made them jump and fell off, dude! That is hilarious, oh my god. Dude, that's so funny, dude. The phantom jumped and he just got pushed over the railing. That is so funny. You guys uh, smell what I'm smelling? God damn it. Insane guy. Come on, dude. I keep fucking getting off. I just missed, like, golden opportunities to, uh, to hit them. So bad. Come on, dude. Not going well right now. Alright, let's reset. We could have killed them, like, straight away. With like a, a jump dragon breath, but I missed it. I missed the jump. Insane shit players. That actually really hit. We missed that. We should have killed them like right, right from the jump start. We had an opportunity to kill one of them with the dragon breath. We fucked that up, honestly. your spells
Dude, he died before we even hit him. <laughs> I did not even need to be here. Best part of Dark Souls 2 is co-invading on stream. I agree that the best part of PvP was like team fights for sure. Like co-invasions were where it was at. It was way more fun. Especially like with the fact you can turn off Dunter Stong mid-invasion. Like that is so dumb. That is like ridiculously like stupid. That turning off Dunter Stong is mad annoying, honestly. Ooh. Well, didn't save your teammate. Insane range. Um... <clears throat> Not work. Dude, that would have been a kill. It fucked up the swap. God damn it. Okay, I also went to resummon. Oh, the DC. <laughs> the DC, man. Right next, right on top of the side of Grace. <laughs>